Hey hey everyone, it's IK here and welcome back to the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. And check out my awesome dance move. I have some more and even more and another and another and the last one is the Rickroll. This is the mod which I'm working on right now. It's not released and won't be released soon because I still want on some animations. But it's not about dance moves in this episode. In this episode, by the title, as you can see, I'll try to make a paddle, a wheel boat, like a ferry. Because I just had idea with this bubble block when you put it like a let's say. Actually, I haven't tried this. Let's put like this and then move it from the ground. Will it float? All right. Yeah. See, it floats up. So, oh, it actually bounces a lot. <laughs> so my idea is to make a puddle wheel boat where I have like these bubbles on a circle, and I'll try to propel the boat. We'll see how it'll go because I really haven't tried it. I just had this idea. And I knew I had to make a video about it because I was just like I, I was so taunted just to test it, but then I realized it will be actually fun to see. See it on video or make it on the video. Right, so I'm not really sure how I'll start. I guess I'll just make a some platform with an engine in the back. So Yeah, this, this is really trippy. I thought it's continuous there anyways. So, actually, let's let's go and make it really simple. Let's remove uh, this part and we also will need a connection tool now with weld tool. Right, so something like this. And that's actually, well, yeah, I, I don't think it works like that. Let's connect it like this and now weld together this bit and for start, um, Actually, I guess we need to make it separated, so it's not just a bubble block. So for the beginning, let's just actually, yeah, for the really beginning, let's just make like one layer. Just see how does it act in the water, like this, and we'll need controller which I'll put here. Right, let's connect this one. And I meant with the controller because I think it's more linear action. Because the engine, I think it's still linear, but it still feels more jerky than the controller. But um, let's see. First one should go in the red, and second one should go in blue. All right, let's try it. So first one goes in red. Not really sure about the speeds or anything. So let's just. Let's make it like this. Oh, wow. Um, how to put it in the water so it's so it doesn't act weird. I think we'll still hit. Can I push it? Yeah, I can push it. Right. Let's actually turn the switch on. We'll need speed a little bit faster. And let's see. Right, we are getting somewhere. Let's, oh, actually, it hits the ground. So, let's put it this way, so it doesn't go forward, and we just see the action. Right, so it should push up. All right, push up, and then it'll go down. All right, so we have. Some kind of motion. Let's let's actually increase the speed. Wait, wait, went down. Or is it me or or case it's simply? Oh yeah, I see what's happening. It moves so slow that it can't like a uh, put himself put itself up. So. We need another layer at the bottom. So let's see, it was three blocks. And let's put three on this side as well. It's actually really interesting that 
this few blocks can actually do the trick. I thought I'll have to make like super giant wheel. Although I'm not sure about the propulsion just now. Because all I saw is that it moves up and down. So let's say I put it. Let's see how deep we can put. Um why it doesn't float on this end. Let's let's put in uh, this was like most buoyancy block. All right, let's put it this one in the front, just so it distributes the weight a little bit better. All right, but now it becomes really long actually. All right, let's put it like this. Yeah, I wish I could somehow spawn it in the water. But anyways, it floats now. So if it pushes itself to the shore, I know that it moves. But if it's not, let's see. Um, it doesn't hit the ground. And also, let's see. I guess if it's kind of like the opposite sides, there is no moment for it to be like down or up. Because it just like compensates itself and stays on the spot. Now let's actually increase the speed. Let's go. 360. Alright, and does it... Does it move now? Or maybe it needs to have a bigger wheel now. So let's try to make a little bit bigger. Let's see how... How many blocks there is like... Well, I can go as deep as I want to if I actually... So it's 1, 2, 3 for these ones and 2 for these ones. So we can sh for sure... Go one block more on top and bottom and see how does it perform then. Actually, I haven't built anything for a while in a live in live in scrap mechanic. Right, let's see. Will it perform any different now? Because I really want to see some kind of like a forward action to call it to call it working um like that and now if I turn it on let's see let's make the speed a little bit slower <laughs> and now it goes backward. I thought it would like bounce and go forward or something. Yeah, it just moves up and down. Hmm. Well, yeah, I didn't say that this will work. I just wanted to test, but there is some kind of energy I can use somehow. I just need to figure out how. Actually, let's see. Let's put it, um, well, yeah, not, we'll have to keep it on loop. I thought about removing one line. Let's actually do it like this so it stops. All right. Now let's remove this one. And let's, whoa, whoa. What? What? Oh, it did move, it didn't it? Yeah, I thought it would like a go up. Like, let's say on the ground it will be, it will grow up and push itself forward. But, wait, what? See, wait, 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 wait. It does move forward. Let's, um, let's put a beam here so I can actually see. Let's see, let's not move. Wait, why did it, why did it stop it? Oh. Let's see. I want more. Or it it goes back and forth the same amount, isn't it? Yeah, but when I when it was turning the other way around, let's try to go other way around. I felt like uh, it was moving.
Mm. Yeah, it go still goes back and forth, but at least we have some kind of motion. Alright, let's stop it. And let's attach... Well, we can... Let's make it in longer. And let's attach two more lines of blocks to this one. Actually, three. So, now let's remove this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it turned off? What? Let's stop it. I thought... What? What is going on? Um, let's turn it on. I guess it needs to be in water. Let's see if we can push it. Mm, yeah, let's put it inside the water. But it's interesting that we have at least some kind of motion. I just need to figure out how to control it. I have another idea. We'll try. Let's turn this one off. Let's let's remove this one. And let's attach at the bottom. But a little bit less blocks so so they are not the same like a distance or or amount or buoyancy or whatever. So it was six, so let's go with two. Three, four. All right, let's go. Four, one, one, two, three. All right, four. So let's see how does it act now. Let's put it on. All right. Wait. I'm looking by this. Oh, I was showing the finger. I'm looking at this line here. Maybe the controller is just not fast enough. All right. Let's see now. Yeah, it does move forward. But if I could stop it from going backward, it would move forward. <laughs> if that makes sense. It has the same amount as it pushes forward, it also pushes it back, which is not great. I could make some kind of pistons, which moves inward. Yeah, yeah, let's try that. Um, pistons, where the... Alright, I guess... Well, let's just take this one, just in case we need speed. Speed and power. Um... Well, if I was going back and forth with the one, I can just test it on one and then see how... Oh, what? <laughs> and then see how does it work. So let's move this one. I guess I can go. And remove it all. Alright, like this. Let's see, it moves back in. Up it goes. And one more time, out. Around. And back in. Well, I guess it's time to put it in the water and see. What does it do now? Right, it's kind of heavy in the back. And I guess once I turn it on. Let's see, with this speed it should go. <laughs> no, it still doesn't go. Let's increase the speed so it goes really wild. Wait. Now it does move. It's just really violent and not that great motion. If I, let's see, let's attach some bubble blocks. Um, well, yeah, we have we have, have to make make them on this so they rotate together. Um, let's put it on 
here a bit so when it's like a out of the water so it doesn't sink too bad and also here in the front a little bit so it stays floating a little bit better I still haven't like a figure out is there any other than the buoyancy physics in the water like does it push us or something or do anything else other than buoyant all right at least now it floats let's let's go at our trusty beam let's look on this line It slowly, slowly moves. Yeah, see? It does move forward. Because it selects like a different blocks. You know, while, well, let's see, how does it... Oh yeah, this is the maximum speed. Wait, actually, I have a feeling that it moves really good. Um, Let's go with electric engine. Actually, yeah, with electric engine, it should work as well because it's also quite linear. It's just that mm, I can't control the synchronization if it rotates with the engine. Can I? Wow! Actually, that would be awesome. If the control could, en could control the engine as well. Actually, let's turn it off and disconnect from bearings here and attach it to the engine. We'll rotate now. Yeah, it's totally out of sync, but whoa! <laughs> it was just a bit too fast. Because theory, actually, no wonder why it doesn't work like that. Theory, it should be just like a wheel. And this is what I'm trying to achieve in the water. So if it's work on the ground, it have to work in the water as well. All right, check it out. It did work really good, actually. Oh my god. Mm. I guess it needs to be a lot heavier. Actually, this takes a while. So maybe let me try to make something that works and I'll be back. Oh, that then looks like it's not possible to make in the method which I'm trying to make. Because I know that the gas engine, which turns out have a lot more torque. Because with the electric engine, I couldn't spin this one fast enough to actually have any effect but with the gas engine although it moves really jerky it still doesn't move because it looks like I'm moving because see the, the ground is moving while I'm standing still which actually it did move a little faster before but if you look by the ground let's see I'm not really moving anywhere so yeah it doesn't really move and even if I increase the speed to maximum <laughs> this just happens. And this moves back and forth. It's really interesting. It looks like it it's connected there. Like it's a piece on, on the bearing. A little weird behavior. I really like the bubbles. So the game reduces that something gets in the water and out of the water. It's just that it doesn't work the way I intended. Maybe when it's like a moves forward, no, but like a, oh yeah, when it's moves forward, it's okay. But when it go moves backward, maybe I can counter it with the suspension glitch. I guess I have to make like full circle here. It's already full circle, I guess here as well. So it's enabled at that whole location and not enabled on this bit. 
So I guess it's now counts as enabled as a loop. No, let's not make a loop. Let's see from other side if it's uh, if it's disabling at some moment. But I can see black and green. So it turns off at some points. Hmm. Well, yeah, it doesn't really help because because it moves up and down. I still don't get it. What what makes it push it back? Well, yeah, it's <laughs> it's clearly it doesn't work. But yeah, I guess I have to end this episode with the failure. I tried to think another method how to make it work because it would be awesome to have like a ferry with a paddle wheel. So yeah guys, leave a like if you like it, maybe you have some ideas how to make it work, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video, bye!